Hey guys, it's Clay on the trail and it was like 27 degrees this morning at my house and winter just won't quit. It snowed like oh another inch or so a day ago, two days ago. Anyway, here with my boy Dustin, we decided to come up here to Cedar Mesa, spend a couple of days. Um, we haven't even gone to set up camp yet, but there was a uh, over under ruins, I believe they call it, kind of on a beat off beat in the off the beaten trail on the way to where we're headed. So we decided to take an hour little detour and we're gonna go check them out. So let's, uh, never been to this one before. Let's go see what we find. We kind of jumped off trail here cause the trail really goes down and then comes back up it. We decided to go. Also cause you're clay off the trail. Clay off the trail, that's my new name. But I'm a chicken, I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of all sorts of stuff. I'm scared of the dark being alone, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to, uh, Dustin just sat down and slid off the end of it. Cash slid down it. His feet don't have the same traction we do. So I'm gonna end up sliding down a worse spot than he slid down. Just, Cash is sliding down and crashing into me because he can't stop. I don't know why you came back up. Give you a hand and oh, help you down. Thanks. <laughs> He's going to hold my hand for me. Hold me. Um, I think we can jump from here. So Cash is uh, sliding down okay. everywhere so he keeps crashing into me. Um, this is steeper than I anticipated but we're making it. So as I was saying earlier, it was like 27 when I left my house this morning. It's uh, inverted itself. It's 72 here. Needless to say, it's a hair on the warm side. But I, I like it. So we're going to drop down into here and all the ruins should be here to the left and up in if I have this correct. I don't know what it is about this area, but it really... I got a grip on me and I certainly don't want to come here in June, July or August where I think it's May 12th. I'm not really sure. It's a Wednesday, whatever that is. It's May 12th. That seemed right. Um, anyhow, this is about the last weekend of the year I would want to come here. Uh, our last day that we're going to be here, it's supposed to hit 82. And for some of you people that don't live in the iceberg of the west, that's probably normal. That's horrible at my house. I see other tracks here, though, so I know we're not completely going the wrong way. We barely have grass growing. These guys are already blooming and drooping with some of their flowers and somebody somebody slid down this probably don't want to go that way with the cactus but maybe seems better than falling down the slick rock hallelujah and the shade down here just dropped the temperature like 10 degrees so excited to be here. All right, we met up, had to up climb a little bit. We found a spring or a, probably not a spring, a stagnant pool of water down there. Cass just jumped in it, got him a drink, cooled off. He brought his winter coat with him. He didn't get to leave it at home. But anyhow, we went from the bottom down there back up to a shelf here and picked up this trail so I think we're on the right we're on the right path okay I was just looking in the middle of the trail here watch your shadow there kiddo oh sorry petrified wood oh. here yeah petrified wood we have pottery shards oh, yeah, that just beat this out of the way all these cutting tools 
and they were just sitting here kind of in the middle of what I guess is a trail, but there's a alcove right here. So this is a, gonna be our first something. Okay, just above, just above that, the pottery shards and stuff, we found this alcove and you can tell they've had fire there's over here. here in this area. There's uh, some more pottery shards here. Wow, they were using yeah. metal cans too. Ancient Pueblian tin can. But, oh, here's some more shards. This is gonna be a post from a house or a something. This is what we came for. So there was some sort of a wall here. And right. Some shards. And right. Drawings. I'm not here. sure. Some of this stuff looked a little more modern. Like you wonder how many jack wagons have come down here and this is covered in drawings. Done this, or maybe they've just taken the soot from the charcoal and colored these in. Look at all the sheep. Big starfish. Going down the road too. No headed man. <coughs> and then down here, I oh, see there's more ruin. Ruin here. What's left of them? They're in pretty poor shape here. Might find some corn cobs here if we looked around a little bit, but some more pottery. Here it's been cooked, and then all the spots where they sharpened or ground stuff, and then where posts sat in the back. Amazing, and who knows, stuff like this, you just want to say that somebody drew this modern, but this is actually chiseled in the rock. And we have, people have put some pieces of pottery in these little alcoves and there's a little bit down here so there's supposed to be three spots of ruins down here we obviously stumbled upon the first one whether we're in the middle on the end I do not know but we're gonna keep exploring we got to find the other two there's actual together ruins here somewhere Common sense dictates that there's an alcove right there, and that's where the exciting stuff will be. But we'll see when we get there. Here's the next little alcove. This is not the star of the show, though. We don't know where we missed it at. And this looks like a group of kivas. Be their corn storage, just because of the size of them. Oh yeah, and they really did carve footholds and all sorts of stuff into the Flat rock up here. into the rock here to get around oh there's big 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 chunk of pottery here holy cow that is so awesome like guys that's bigger than my hand and just rough and I love the the stippled design they did. This is a fire spot. Some of their grinding stuff. And you think how much they've geomowed corn nowadays. This is a corn cob from their era. I mean, this is a small one. I've seen them three times this big, but, but still, their corn cobs back then were six, seven inches, not the Honking one. Yeah, I mean that's just that's just amazing. Such a big piece and then 
Oh, intricate the, work on those. All the pieces here. Absolutely beautiful. And then, I guess this is supposed to be the highlight, but I've never seen a pottery shard that big. See where they ground down the rock the yep. And you can see where they they put all the beams for the roof. All the pieces of wall. And this is where Dustin came up. This stairs are carved out here. This would probably be smarter barefoot, but... That seemed to work out all right. Oh, and there's another big piece here. These are some of the biggest shards I've ever seen. Yeah, I got excited and walked right past this. This is uh, more pottery shards. That's about the typical size piece of corn I've seen. Maybe I've seen it just a hair bigger than this, but they're just not that big. And then the grinding rock. It is amazing. We went north from the second one and we found some rocks where they've been grinding. Lots of cow poop up here. Obviously they range cows here, which is BLM ground is what they do. Um, but then I looked at my map. We came in on the middle one, went to the far north one or east one. I don't really don't know what direction we are facing. Now we need to backtrack and go one to the other direction. And I kind of noticed the trail petered out here in the in the trees. You could tell people have gone this way, but mostly I think because they see that somebody else went this way. And pretty soon there's a trail that goes nowhere. That other trail was a big old sidewalk though, and we're having to climb through trees to get out of here. Oh, lots of route finding today. So the other ruin two and three were clear down around there and we've came, I mean, but look at this. There's like five alcoves over there, but they all face north. They're facing the wrong way. There's another one there and another great big one up here. We finally got up here and went around this corner only to see that the main trail we're supposed to be on, I believe is down in the bottom again. Well, it's not every day you can hear the wing flapping of a crow. So we're backtracking again. <coughs> Just to find a place where we can get back down. Because we need to be on this trail. You can see it. Just in this bank right here, and just in this bank over here. We need to be over there. We are getting back in the right kind of country. I know this isn't what we're looking for, because what we're looking for is a big site. Anytime you run across something that looks like this, though, you gotta, you gotta come look. Because if nothing else, we find pottery shards everywhere, a couple of corn cobs, and quite a bit of drawings, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Looks like we might have struck out here. But we're not the only buddy, only person curious enough to come up here. I thought at first that would be something, but that's just watermarks. Lots of tracks through here.
Oh, here's something. Was something. This very well could have been a house as big as that is. A little bit of wall across the front there, and you can see all the spots in the back where they would have fanned the roof supports out. Yeah, and they've had fire in here, so they would run all these beams the different directions from that back center. Oh, and talk about a lifesaver. It is 20 degrees cooler in here. I already missed the 27 degrees. Funny how that works. Beautiful. All the work it took to cubby those out. Rocks with all sorts of marks in them. But still not what we're looking for, but we're getting close. Dare say we hit this at a good time of year. Hey, so we stumbled. Oh, oh here we go. Look at the marks. Oh, yeah, yeah. The big spiral we do, Dad. Pretty cool. Here's what's left of three walls. Now this still is not the over-under that we're looking for. We have made it to the mouth of the canyon. And really was fear and feeling a bit let down you know on the map they show that they're like you know a tenth of a mile whatever apart from each other but that is that is not the truth but lo and behold there is the under and the upper over is up in that old cove so we're gonna have to get back how the crap would you get to that one <laughs> You'd have to have a ladder. A ladder, or up here on this side, they could have walked that shelf down into it, but I don't, I don't know the answer to that. Anyway, let's take a closer look. Okay, we have a little corner. Storage. Look, look, look at that. Still completely intact. That whole side. this whole side. I don't even know where the door is. I think it even has the roof still on it. This one's still got a roof, but it's only seen through the top. So there was an upper and a lower in this one. Okay, the other side of that window I just showed through. There's a two layer here. Lots of fire, smoke anyway. How about that? Are those turkeys? Would be my guess. I don't know, it's usually the turkey sign is like a crow's foot. The little three mark, I've seen a lot of that. There's definitely a lot of stuff painted here. Pretty spectacular, that was, that was worth coming to and we haven't even seen the, this is the under, we need to see the over part. I don't know what better view we're gonna get. That upper one looks, the back building looks really intact and then there's like a front security wall or something, but there is just no way, 
No way up there without a rappel, and even a rappel, you'd have to do a heck of a swing to get in there. Well, let's uh, wander up over on this side and see if we can get a shot over into it. Holy cow, I walked right by these. There's a hand outline and a hand print. Super, super cool. Yeah, I think it's the same sized hand. One you can see they put their hand there and spit around it and the other one they would have dipped it and touched it. Yeah, but for comparison, little hands. Well, that unfortunately is the best view we've had of the top. And you can barely see right there a piece of the bottom. Pretty cool. Intact, roof still on. I don't see from up here how they got to it. They must have had a ladder. They must have had something. Cool, cool. Okay guys, this is gonna be the end of our over under ruins. We're going to, oh, somewhere on top of this is our truck. We just came up that. Um, somewhere on top, here's the truck. We're gonna find it and we're gonna to head to the, I believe Arch Canyon area. And camp, there's a bunch of different campsites there in the comb wash area. Um, tomorrow our goal is Hotel Rock. Uh, Dustin brought his mountain bike. It's a good black diamond trail to, uh, I'll probably drive my truck up there. It's actually a Jeep road and then he'll ride out of it. So got to find us a place to lay our head. Guys, we are at the Arch Canyon. I guess it's a campsite, trailhead, whatever. Found a little flat spot here. We're just in an old three-man tent. Uh, surprise, surprise. I'm gonna see how many legs and ribs I can break. We brought our mountain bikes. Um, there is water just in this little wash right here. Uh, so Cash has a chance to get a drink and stuff. Got a couple chairs. We are full-on truck camping. So we Safety brought all sorts of all sorts of stuff. Dustin decided to prick his head. I'm worth more dead than alive, so I didn't bring one. Um, we're gonna go for a little mountain bike ride. I've hiked a year or two ago to the Arch Canyon ruins, and since then discovered that there were some way better ones just a little further up the road. So uh, we're gonna see if we can go find them. Stay high. Like riding through. Oh boy. Oh, jolly good fun. Crick, crick. Look out, dog. Oh, all that talk about needing the radios and testing them. Guess where mine's at? Mine's sitting on the truck. Uh, it might be in the front seat. Do y'all get that?
Who'd have thought we'd be bushwhacking in the jungle in uh, southern Utah looking for ruins. you. It almost feels like a corn maze and we're trying to cheat to get through it. Imagine that. Maybe that's why there's no water. Oh, here comes Mr. Cash. He waited till the last possible second. All right guys, like I said last time we came, we were on the road on the other side of these trees. And I just knew there would be something over here, but I could not. I was looking way up high. Usually the ruins are super up high. This one, It's pretty far down. I mean, it's not on the bottom, but beautiful. The ones just around the corner are the main ones. I mean, they're, they're not a stone left standing. <clears throat> there would have been a little kiva here. Another little one here. I mean, these are getting plenty of attention where there's a campground like, I don't think we're 100 yards from our camp. We brought our mountain bikes up and I don't think we rode a tenth of a mile. See, this is what I'm used to with these ruins. Is cliffy and then up there so yeah this would have been a corn storage and another little little corn storage and then we'll go back and look at the main building okay back at the main site this is one of the thinnest walls I've ever seen made Interesting. Some more storage kivas. This one, I believe, would have been a home. Yeah, it would have had a roof on it, and this would have been the, the first story. It's a warmy here. Warm, warm, warm. So I scope all these places out on Google Earth before I come here. And that one intact home, you can actually see on Google Earth. And there's something up here a little bit further. I don't think it's walls, but it was like definitely something was going on there. So I don't know exactly where it is. But I am guessing this little bench right up here. Okay, this is the site you can see from the 
Google Earth, there was a once a wall here. As you can see Dustin sitting on it, but there just isn't anything here. There's been some cows up here. The trail keeps going. We may go a little bit further, but I don't think there was anything else up here. I scoured it pretty good. Now tomorrow, I don't know if we can pick this out from this bluff up here. We're gonna get a good eagle eye vantage of this whole valley. That's on the agenda for tomorrow. Come on, put it in four low, come on. Come on, come on, good boy. All right, hey, never cease to be amazed what you find if you just look around the next corner. So these would be some kivas, some corn storage areas. Little, but still in pretty good shape. A snake up here not too long ago. Some shards of something over here. Yep, some. Eh, people pick up rocks that look like tools, but I'm not. I'm not always sold. They are what they are. Pretty smooth stick in there. Yeah, I saw that. Lots of little alcoves. And this is Arch Canyon. I know we've had got a dry year going on, but when Steph and I came here in October, there was way more water in it than there is now. It's crazy. Send it. All right, guys, I am super, super stoked. I got a new, like, super ultra light backpacking stove that I'm really excited to try out on this uh, trip here. So, uh, thing weighs in at about 14 pounds, really ultra light. But we are car camping this trip. So, we're going to make dinner tonight. It's going to be really, really simple. Get this burner going here. And uh, we just got to get the ingredients together. Okay, so the trick to uh, making this over the campfire is making sure you stop at the Pizza Hut, in our case in Moab, on the way down here, and pick one up. And we're going to eat it cold because that's how we roll. It's like 4,000 degrees here. Here we thought we were being awesome and escaping from the heat, and we are escaping from the cold, and we drove right into the furnace. So anyway, pizza tonight for dinner. We're actually cooking the rest of the week. Um, 
hang out here. If it cools off, we might start a fire, but it's gonna have to cool off a lot. All right, everybody, we got bored of camp, so we went up to the top of the hill, and uh, I'm gonna go for a mountain bike ride, and uh, Bad here drove us up here in the truck. It's a blue rated Jeep trail. Uh, you'll see what I mean as we do our descent here, so here we go. Hopefully we'll get some good footage here. dicey there. Two A radios for communication. So hopefully we keep in touch in case of emergency. locked out. I don't think I... Okay. Oh, soft dirt. It's rocky soil as you can tell. So it's kind of squirrely on the back end here. downhill this is kind of a workout honestly building my thighs 